series this is a 128i it's like a 2011 or something i think that we just i kind of want like a sweet street car because we like do all this race car stuff but we never get to go and do like regular people car shows and stuff like that so uh, i don't know we'll see what happens hopefully this isn't a waste of time god you drive like a <laughs> <laughs> Big one series guy over here, it happened. Big one series guy. He's pretty freaking clean, and like to be honest with you, like the reason that I, I'm okay with it being a salvage title, which usually I'm not, just because like I just want to do a wide body, I just want to like put some big dumb wheels on it. You're gonna ruin it anyway. I'm gonna ruin it's it anyway, like, so it's like, you know what? And then like if I do yeet it off the track whenever that time may come, then it's just like, yeah, well, you know, at least yeah. I didn't take like a clean one. Well, it was 4,500 bucks, so you got it for what you brought, which is cool. I mean, dude, you guys, look at this thing. Like, it's, it's a brand new car. It's not, it's better than anything I got, you yeah, know what I mean? Like, like Day two of owning a one series. Yeah. It's going on the lift. We bought it yesterday. I mean, we might as well try and take it to the track. I don't know, we kind of got to leave in like a couple hours. So I don't know how much, uh, how much we're actually gonna get done to it, but maybe we'll well to do. We'll see. We will see. I think I thought your clunking issue, Dylan. So when we shift, it does like this little clunk thing, and I'm gonna go right ahead and say it's because those trans mounts are completely Look at that thing completely moving right now. Broken in half. We don't even, that also, that's not connected. That also makes sense why this exhaust is The exhaust is holding the whole drive. The exhaust thing. is holding it up. All right, Terry found some poly mounts back up in the storage thing. You just really remembered that, huh, Terry? Yeah, I knew it. I knew I had some. He knew, he knew they were there, so yeah. just like that. We're, we're fixing this little thing. All right, so diff is coming out. It's getting welded. You've owned this car for like probably like 28 hours. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Or actually, no, no, it's probably like right around 24 hours, yeah, like right now. We talked him into it last night. So we're going to Adam's tonight. And I was like, let's throw the one series together. And he's like, starting getting ideas. Starting getting ideas. Yeah, it's happening. It's probably good. There she is. I think it's BMW stuff. I should have put gloves on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little open diff, though, right? That yeah, it is open. Yeah. I want the fluid in it so that. So do you do you at least like clean off the gears a little no, bit? Or you no, you just let the. I use a MIG welder, but I don't know. Are you gonna use a MIG welder too? Yeah. Yeah. I just MIG it so that you can keep the splatter off the gears and then change the oil after you're done welding. Yeah, huh, interesting. What do you think about that, Terry? I think I'm down. Try it out. I like it. Start filling up tea. We're gonna use some of our Permatex Optimum Max Flex gasket sealer. So this is specific for oil stuff, so you can see like oil pans, diff covers. This thing didn't look very full. <laughs> so there was already a bunch of fluid in there. Plus half a can of brake cleaner, and plus half a can of brake cleaner, or, or a full can of brake cleaner. Like, <laughs> there was like probably a quart or less of fluid in there. So. Welding the diff was preventative maintenance. That's exactly. what we're doing right exactly. now. Is that bad? Wipe it. That's, uh, that's all metal. So we got some 1040 for this thing. A little bit thicker. Go. We're gonna go a little thicker. Yeah. We're just, gonna go a little thicker. just gonna take yeah. some abuse. Just so happens this thing takes 6.9 quarts. A little bit of Royal Purple ATF. Match, match ATF. ATF. Easy to take seven quarts of oil. That's, That's a lot of oil, dude. I'm not really sure how much fluid goes in the dip, but. Putting some Royal Purple, 75, 140 in it. A little max gear in this hog. We're thinking about just putting one quart in and just leaving it. <laughs> so we accidentally dropped the dip from the back end, <laughs> and I think Bam. we saw where, where it hit the floor at. In the nick of time, I couldn't tighten it up because we don't have enough time, but then we have it so quick and I need to be able to get rid of that button, so I just drilled the hole. I compressed that, drilled the hole in it, and then I just took a piece of welding rod. Stick that down in there like that. Now it's pinned up. Pinned up Pamela. Pinned up. Pinned up. All right, well, we gotta go. So we're off to the track. Off to the races. Two people, it's just us two.
ten dollars. Oh, there he is. How was it driving it over here? It was bad. No, just why? The drive was horrible. Oh that yeah, was the traffic and stuff. Dude, that was the worst traffic. What's up? How's it going? It's like what a terrible place to be. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, car feels good. Car feels good. Alrighty. Oh, she passes tech, Terry. Look at that. But trying second. We haven't done any tire pressure or anything. Literally at all. Yeah, forget about it. Tire pressure is no idea, but it's a lot more. It's a lot so more. we shall see how it is. There we go. Wow. God, these fronts suck so bad, dude. We're getting the tires aired up right now. Uh, John Schaefer has this like little air pump thing. So now they'll be at like 70. Uh, Dylan doesn't even know that I got an air pump though. So he's gonna come back after being with uh, Slide Like Mike and I'm gonna have him try the car out. So hopefully it's a little bit better now. Hey Terry, wait, I didn't get to tell you yet. Your car has 70 PSI on the rear now on both tires. Really? Yeah. Should we try it again? Yeah. Terry's phone was out of storage, so it kind of cut off. I don't even know how much of that run we got, but it was better. It's just not, still not it. No e-brake sucks, like... I cannot believe how, like, my stock E36, I feel like, would, like, actually rip pretty good. Yeah. Maybe I just need to get this thing a little bit more dialed in, like, get a handbrake, figure out what's up with the steering. Maybe I can get some, like, top hat so I can, like, adjust it to put more caster in it or something. Yeah. Or, uh, or if they just totally suck. I've heard that these things suck stock, so that definitely, uh, definitely just confirmed that. Yeah. So, yeah. well... We're getting somewhere. I'd have to say this was a pretty successful two days of buying a car, getting it somewhat drift ready. Yep. I mean, welding the diff, kind of sliding it around, like whatever, like it's pretty good. It was pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty good. We got a lot of work to do. Yeah, yeah. So until uh, until next time with the One Series. Until next time with the One Series, <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely have to do an update once we figure something out with it because we got to figure something out with it. Yeah. yeah.